all right guys this is gg.com you're welcome back to my channel and this is the product i'm going to review this is also from the same company called fantic and in this case this is their next s1 pro cordless screwdriver kit this is what you have all right and what you can do with the s1 pro is to use it on your computer if you have a furniture that you want to assemble you can use it to repair tv or household appliance you can use it to build your fence or any DIY project according to what you have here on the label. According to the box, this thing says that it contains 16 commonly used shank bit that is perfect for walking around your house and build your DIY project. We're going to open it up. Let's see what is inside. We have the USB-C cable that's going to be for recharging. You have this little book, that's the paperwork. If you feel like you want to go through it, fine, but this is just a screwdriver. I don't need it. So you have your quick start guide. So this is it. This is what you have. It's really nice, very portable. It's a device, the motorized screwdriver. And this is the housing. This has some magnetic inside and this is aluminum the housing here is built with plastic and you have all these bits it's kind of magnetized around it so you have 16 bits in total all right all right guys so i have the school driver that i'm going to be comparing it with and it's going to be this one to this this one better than the other that is what we're going to find out today so let's get into it and see what we have so that's the scale electric screwdriver this company has been in the market for a while and for some reason they have different set of electric screwdriver and this is one of their sets if you're getting this this is 35 pieces okay 35 pieces sets we're going to be looking into it so in the case of this first if we have to do comparison can we see the portability of this to this this kind of show a typical traditional screwdriver with motor put in it. But when it comes to this Fantic, it's more like um, a refined, modernized, like new age screwdriver. Both are going to be travel worthy. You could put it out of this in your backpack, it'll be good to go. If we open this up, you press to have your screwdriver, and you can press this also to bring out the bit. But when you do that, you know, you can have this. All right, so this is what you have. In the case of this, you have 16 bits all together. All right. And in the case of this, I think you have 35 pieces. It's going to be 34 bit screwdriver and you have one uh, adapter. And the reason is because the bit are kind of small okay if you look at the bit compared to this this is the bit for this this is the bit for this they're kind of small for that reason they provide you with this adapter to make it longer but with the adapter you can imagine this is kind of tiny so the advantage of this is because you'll be able to get into a little bit of tiny hole why you may not be able to do that with the scale, that's the difference. If we have to compare the two side by side, they are almost they are kind of the same size. If you look at the weight also, to me, they were almost the same and they are kind of the same size. Where they differ is the fact that the bit that come with the scale is a little bit fatter and probably is going to be a little bit stronger compared to the one that come with Fantec. I'm trying to differentiate what I'm saying, okay? When you come to the Fantic, you have three sets of torque from one to three. The same thing with this scale, I think you also have three torque setting, all right? Also, you can charge from here and there's a battery indicator ring that will light up when you plug this to charging. In the case of this, this is where it's going to light up when you're charging it. It's going to start from one all the way to three light. When the three light is stable, then it's fully charged. 
all right now let's come to the power inside okay the fantic claim that this is going up to 220 rpm and in the case of this you have 240 rpm okay so it's like 20 from here more than this so 220 240 rpm that's the speed that they can go and um aside from that i think that's all that matter here another thing i see in this that this does not have is that this can pivot okay when you press there's a button right here that you can press when you press that button then you can pivot this to like this angle so if anything on angle you can go on and you will have your screwdriver like so okay so this can pivot and you also have the light on there our main focus today is this one but it will not be fun if we have nothing to compare it with so for me like i said i'm new to this fantic and this skill i've been using for a while i've used this to do different kind of projects okay and i can tell you that it's reliable even though the battery power may not run that long if this is fully charged it may help you get your project done okay what i have used this for in the past is i have used this to set um tv console i've used this to set um computer table lighting fixture like that you know all those things like diy you do around the house i've used this on different projects and it works fine you need to bear in mind that they are not designed to talk any screwdriver all the way down all right just bear that in mind if you need it to be really tight you have to do it manually they can go manually okay the same thing with this but in the case of this right when you look at the two my conclusion will be that these are designed for different use but they have common use their common use is to get some house shot done according to this they were saying that this can you know if electrical device whatever you're doing in the house both of these can get it done all right according to this this can set your pc you can use it to assemble furniture repair electrical appliance build your fence that's what they claim that you can do with this but i don't know how that true is if you ask my opinion about this too my recommendation will be that this is going to be for a light duty job and this will be for me like something a little bit higher than this what i'm trying to say is that this may go a little bit further than this in tightening down i don't know if that makes sense right this is fine to do light duty this will do a little bit above this not that much i'm trying to clarify it so i'm not trying to bash this for this no so my recommendation would be that like if you are repairing drone if you repairing uh electronics device probably like camera all stuff like in that category i think you'll be this will get the job done according to the manufacturer fantic claim that you can use this to assemble furniture tv all those things i will agree to all their claim but i don't know about that furniture maybe the furniture they mean is that probably if you're buying a computer desk that they come in pieces fine i think this should be able to assemble them but you still have to tie them down manually to get them really snug okay but they will drive the screw down to the bare minimum while you kind of screw it down on your own the same thing with this they do not drive the screw all the way down to talk you will have to do that manually the same with this okay this is built for a rough job this build is suitable to use to fix something on your desk and that will be where you want to keep it this also is suitable to use on your desk to fix some electronics device but 
This also can be taken further outside your table, to your garden, to your garage, or anywhere, okay? So that would be the advantage for this. But if you are okay to get this dirty, fine. Maybe it will work that way too, if you are able to get it dirty. But in my own case, I already want to maintain the look of this beauty, and for that reason, this will only work on my table or in a clean environment. And when that is done, it's going back in the case. I still want to have this slick look. I don't want any scratch on it. And for the, that being said, this I will be okay to use anywhere, even in the rain. So that would be the difference of me having this and me having this. As that being said, I will recommend this for a job that takes a lot of beating. I don't know, guys, if you get what I'm trying to make you see here, okay? In terms of price, this is way pricier than this one. If you are buying this from Costco, yes, you're going to save money on this. But this, right now, the price at, at the time of recording this video is $39.99. In some store, you may get this for $29.99. So you are looking at between 30 to $40 if you are buying this. If you are buying this from Costco, it may cost you around 40 US dollars. But if you are buying outside Costco, you may be looking at 50 to $60. That depends on where you are buying it. So price-wise, this is more affordable and you get more beat with this. And also, you get more work done with this one. Like I said before, I'm not trying to bash either of this. All I'm saying is that if I have to pick one out of these two, right? If I only have to pick one, I'll pick the sick for the reason that it can get the job of this one, it can get it done, and still move further to get all those dirty jobs done. As a reviewer, if you are reviewing any product, you cannot be biased, okay? I pay for both of these devices. I'm not sponsored to do any of this video. And for that being said, I cannot be biased on either of these. I have to state my experience with them. And for that reason, if I have to pick one right now, if I only have money to buy one, it's going to be the skill set because first, I'm paying less for the price. I have more bits to work with and I have angle that I can pivot on this one. At the same time, this can work on the table and it can also work in the garden or in the garage, meaning that it can take a lot of beating and it's still going to be looking nice. I'm going to be honest with you, if you look at portability, probably maybe that is what you are paying for. You are not paying for the power output, but you are paying for the look. And if that's something you want, then go for it because I'm not going to lie to you. I like the look. I like the simpleness. I like that it is slick. And for me, it's going to be a keep for me. So that if I'm going anywhere, this will be like my personal screwdriver that I can throw in the bag and I can walk anywhere I want to walk with this. So that's going to be it for me on this one, guys. If you find value in this video, please do share it and like the video so that others can see. If you're yet to be a subscriber on this channel and you like what we're doing here, please do subscribe so that this can move us forward. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye, guys.